Whoa! And here I was thinking that I had everything set up properly. <laughs> One moment. I just need to... That's right, the last game I played on here was Risk of Rain. That explains a lot. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope your day was good. My day was okay. I, I stayed up way too late last night and woke up late today. So, I didn't get going as early as I wanted to, but if that's the worst thing that happens, I'll take it. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on, just getting ready for the holidays, so I think I'm just going to hop over to the game and I'll talk to people as they come in. So, we're going to be uh, continuing with Unsighted, which is really, really good, honestly. Like, if you haven't played this game, I highly recommend it. Um... So, I know last time I talked about doing that parry challenge thing off stream. Uh, I tried. I got, I think, a maximum of 40 blocks out of 80. So, I won some money from it, but I did not win the big prize. Also, hi, Azari. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Lovely to see you here. So, I might try that again at the end of the stream. But the first thing we're going to do is get back to the dungeon we started. Although I might, before I go, real quick, let me check my contacts list and see. She only has 77 hours remaining. I think I'm going to find her and give her some meteor dust. You should be okay. here. Hey, hey, yo. Yo, Azari, thank you for the prime. Thank you. I appreciate you giving me Jeff Bezos' money. Hi, lady. You need something, sweetie pie. Here, don't die. Oh, sweetie pie, you're so nice. I hope old me can still be useful for you. Nice. Okay, so now you've got 24 more hours. I think it needs to be tomorrow, but I will do it. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, no worries. Ah, I'm stuck. Uh, where the hell is the terminal? Oh. Duh. Alright. So, we want to go down here, and I think I have the key for that door. Alright. Hopefully I have the key for this door. I do not. Why did I come back here, then? Did I... Why am I back here? I made a circuit and did something, but then I forgot what. Oh! Right, I unlocked uh, this. There we go. And this will let me take a shortcut up here. territory that I can't get into from here. Okay. Well, I guess I can go up here somehow. Thank you. 
guess I could go off to the right. Yeah, I gotta go off to the right. Oh boy, dark rooms. Welcome, welcome. Let me catch up on chat here. Oh, okay. I, I actually am caught up on chat. How are you doing, Mecca? Nice. We are questing to save my girlfriend. I mean, we're also questing to save everybody else, but primarily my girlfriend. My gigantic Amazon robot girlfriend is, uh, not this direction, actually. There we go. But nah, she's, um, she's missing. We think we know where she is, and saving her will also save the world, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Second favorite game ever? Yo, Pog. Azari uh, just bought it for me recently. It was on my wish list, and it's really good. It's also kind of ridiculously hard, but I appreciate the challenge. All right, so now we have a key. New territory, let's go. Climb a fence. I can climb sheer walls, but not a fence. Okay, so that's obviously progress. Hey. hey, yo, Nani, the fuck is this? Hey, a visitor. Hello there, traveler. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, don't be afraid, I'm not unsighted. I'm Drillo. What's your name? I'm Alma. What are you doing down here? It's so dangerous. You see, I was doing some underground research for Vana, but then well, I kind of got stuck here. And now I can't get back because of all the unsighted. But hey, I'm glad you're here. You must be pretty strong. Do you know Vana? I do, yeah. I have an idea. If you want to help out with my research, I can give you this. Yo. What should I do with this? The humans left a lot of stuff here in Arcadia. Some of it is hidden, buried underground. Treasures, see? Vana and I, well, we figured there's maybe even stuff that can help us win this war. Why don't you try digging up over there? Try to dig up treasure. Go near a suspicious path of so patch of soil and press Y. I'll give it a try. Yeah, but not before absolutely decimating everything in here that I can break. Iron ingot. All on the bolts. Treasure album. Huh. 
Ah, you found my treasure album! I was looking all over for it. I suppose I don't have much use for it now. What is this exactly? It's a collection of photos showing places that our sonar surveys detected valuable material. Basically, photos showing buried treasure that might help us. But, well, since I'm kind of stuck down here, why don't you go looking for it? View the photos, press select, check your items, and then select the treasure album. If you dig on those locations, I'm sure you'll find lots of useful stuff. Oh, okay. I'll look out for them. Thanks. Alright. Uh, yeah, but you go... Um, there we are. Okay, so... Items... Treasure album... Okay. I think I know where that one is. Like, I think I... This one here, I know I've been to, but I don't remember exactly where. This one, I know where it is. Pretty sure I know where that one is. Haven't been there yet. Haven't been there yet. Okay, so the first three I should be able to get now-ish. Uh, and here I can go around and down. Oh, no, I can't. But hey, now that I have a shovel, maybe I can... Maybe I can get into this other room here. Lumber bolts. Okay. A full stash of bolts. 1,500. Okay, so that is definitely that item. Yeah, okay, so it actually does mark it off. Perfect. Alright. I'm liking this. Uh, no, there's another way I gotta get in there. Oh, hello. Uh, well, that didn't help me. Not unless I can... This is stupid. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, maybe it is. What am I standing on? Somehow, I don't think this is how this is supposed to work. Alright. <laughs> Fuck off. Engine oil! guide. Those who seek the wisdom of Asana are oracle, humanity's guiding light. Eat their words, make a change within your range, don't lose sight of a brighter future. Uh-huh. Iron ingot. Uh, a hey, yo.
Okay. New weapon, something cool. You got the shuriken. Control its flying path and hit targets from afar. Equip it to the pause menu. Awesome! The shuriken is perfect to hit very distant targets. This should be enough for us to go on to the other side of this cave where the meteor shard is. Nice. Okay. So, this set, we're gonna actually gonna use Iron Edge and Shuriken. And I guess set C is gonna be War Axe and Blaster. Okay, you can kind of control it. It's it's not one to one, but you can you can control it a little bit. Got a meteor shard in here. Loot. More meteor dust. The question is, is there anything else in here? is a resounding yes. Hell chip, nice. A dog! What? Dog. Aware of dog, please pet dog. So I just realized I probably could have gotten this before. Hey, Vault. How you doing? Quack. Hey, look. This be one of, this be one of the dogs Tobias was talking about. We should take this dog to him. Yeah, let's do it. He must be very worried. This dog seems to like you a lot, though. Why don't you give it a name? Okay, chat. Who wants to be... Who wants to be the dog? Somebody... Somebody volunteered to be the dog. He looks kind of like a corgi. Maybe a Shiba. It's kind of hard to tell from this distance. Honey Bee VTuber is raiding with a party of three? Ayo, hey, thank you. Let me get the shout out for you real quick. Hang on a second. Let's see. Let's see.
What were you playing? You were playing Pokemon Scarvo. Scarvio, the new one. Do I want to know about the other dogs? No, I want to be surprised by the dogs as they happen. I hope you had a wonderful stream, honeybee. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. If you don't know who I am, my name is Gage. I am a transgender mechanic. I am a VTuber, variety streamer. Occasionally, I do lewd things on other sites. It's a good time. You're welcome here. Please hang out and help me name this dog. This is the most important thing I have done so far this game. We have found a corgi. He needs a name. Somebody needs to volunteer. Snickers? Snickers. That's just the perfect number of letters it was meant to be. Snickers the Corgi, let's go. I think Snickers is a good name. Yeah, that's cute. You can interact with pets by pressing Y near them? What? Pet? Game of the year. Have a berry. And are you now going to, like, aid me in combat? Please tell me you will aid me in combat. Snickers, my greatest ally. Well, okay. If you aid me in combat, you are my greatest ally. If you are... If I have to protect you, I'm sorry. It's just not going to work out. Although, al although, we could always just take him right back to town right the fuck now. Dogs help in combat and do not need protecting. All oh, right, yes. Okay, well, let's take him and turn him in anyways. Because I'm sure we'll be able to bring him back with us. The meteor shard is in the, located in the eastern portion of the caves, but it doesn't seem like we can get there just by exploring underground. However, with the shuriken, we'll probably be able to explore the east portion of the garden, too. Maybe we can find another entrance to the caves? Let's go. They do need feeding. Okay, well, that'll give me, that'll give me, um, reason to use my pet berries, so that's fine. Hey, Tobias, I am aware of dog. Oh, Alma! You found one of my dogs! Oh, thank you so much. Here, have this for finding my dog. Yo, 1500 bucks. I am fucking loaded. If you want to look after them for me, I'd be grateful. But don't feel pressured to if your adventure gets too hard. You can leave them here. I'll make sure they get enough food and rest. You know what, I'm swimming in money right now, so I'm going to pick up something that I missed. One second. Uh, a yo? Well, this is something I've been working on for quite some time, Alma. It's a portable crafting table. Oh, Pog. With it, it'll be possible to craft items anywhere. Cool, huh? It's not ready yet. I hope I have enough time to finish it. Seriously considering just, like, dumping a shitload of meteor dust into you right now, Olga, because that sounds like it'd be a really good thing. Right, what am I in the mood for today? Uh, let me buy blueprints. Do you sell? No, you do not. Never mind. Um, I've got a shitload of money. I guess I'm just gonna upgrade my chip stash a little bit? Okay. So I can put on something. Let's see. Bullet chip, spin attack chip, wallet chip, syringe chip. Syringe chip could be good because, like, I just feel like that would be very good. Wallet chip could also be good, but so far I've been able to make it, make it back to my corpse. Or the strength chip to make my weapons even stronger. Um... 
could also go with like two health chips or something like that. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the syringe chip. We'll see how that does. And then we're going to teleport back. There we go. Teleport back here. And explore a little bit more before we go the path they recommended to us. And by a little bit, I mean literally over there, because it's as far as we can go. Um. Okay. Good to know. You can wall jump in this game. Northern cave entrance. Hmm. Okay. So this was a pin that I put because I couldn't get through there. I can get through there now with the shuriken. Oh! Hey there. I am the traveling merchant. I've been traveling around the city looking for anyone who might need supplies. I've got all kinds of stuff, from syringes to berries. Do you want anything? Let's see. Disposable syringe, pet berry, attack cog, speed cog. Yo, that could be good. Scrap, coil, ingot, ice crystal, fuse. Um, I can't carry any more cogs right now, so I'm going to pass on the speed cog, but that's very tempting. At least I know that he has it. Uh, boy, there's actually a lot of places I could go from here. Okay. So step one is going to be to teleport to uh, this terminal. And because there is definitely a buried treasure very near here. Near the Akira bike. It's up here. And by up here, I mean over here. Right in the middle of the road. Go, oh, shitload of mine. Nice. Excuse me. Dog, do not die. Here. Oh, Gobby. Is she ever going to come back? She went to the outpost on the industrial sector west of here. I would love to get back there because there's a blueprint I left behind, but I can't. Vana told her to deliver some weapons to the automatons there. You know, the ones that haven't gone unsighted yet. If you happen to go to the industrial sector, can you check on her for me? I would love to. I would love to get over there to check on your friend, and for absolutely no other reason whatsoever. Yes, my desire is completely unrelated to the fact that there is a blueprint for a machine gun there that I left behind foolishly. Okay, so... Got... Got that. Yeah, I did. There's something here that I haven't got. There's something here that I haven't got. I can't get into that area. But I think I can get the other treasure. like again oh yeah okay I, I've been there it's just a matter of remembering where there is it's the arachnotron it's not there I think it's up here Yeah, 
Yeah, this looks promising. Uh, I honestly... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm back in, I'm back in the original area. I could go get that machine gun. Let's fucking go. And now I can teleport here. Perfect. Okay, so the machine gun's in this room, So, but I have to go around to it. And this totally isn't where I um, meant to go to get that treasure, but it, it works. Ah! This is the industrial sector. Target lock off, please. I totally flubbed that parry. Uh, let's return to the last terminal. Why don't you try activating your effect cogs? They'll certainly make things easier. I'll give it a try. They're easy to craft. You don't need to hold on to them for too long. Okay. Fine, whatever. We'll turn on the revive cog just so that I won't lose those if I die again. Thank you. Auto Blaster Blueprint. Perfect. And over here... West Tunnel. Can't do anything here yet. But it exists. up. Oh wait, I don't want to go to the terminal. I want to go down here.
Maybe. We don't know where this is. Sewers elevator. Hey, there's a new terminal here. And we can craft the auto blaster finally. Nice. Okay. So the sewers. How much I can do here? More gun. Yes, absolutely more gun. Okay, so that leads into the way to watch where I'm going. That leads into the uh, the little digging guy, but I can't get through that wall yet. But, like, secrets abound. Holy crap. database sector map downloaded check your map screen okay okay well I didn't realize there was actually gonna be progress here I thought this was gonna lead back into this room directly okay so that's neat um, we are still short one treasure however To get that, we have to go here and go up. And I'm guessing it's in this room? If not, I'm gonna have to do some more looking around. Okay, it's not here. I don't remember where it is. That's fine. We'll um we'll get it later. Okay, so if we go here, we should then be able to go this direction now that we have the shuriken. We can also go up there, but whatever. Can't quite get over there.
Oh, I'm bad at steering the damn thing. Meteor dust on this screen, up to the right. Get fucked. Okay, dude, if that's really what you want to do, you can just jump into the lava and kill your- er, lava. Lava. God damn it, I'm such a fucking idiot. Can't swim. All right. So What do I do here? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Clever, actually. The jumping was not intentional. Oh. Hey, buddy. Come here. push this over here, I should be able to get up here. Yeah. Alright. And then I can... Oh, hello. Lower that. Where the fuck is the meteor dust? There's one down here? Yes, there is. Okay, so that's gonna be one there. Now, the other one I'm almost sure I can get to. I just need to figure out how. So I've got... Oh, I'm an idiot. I can just jump to it. I can literally just jump. And then here I should just be able to run and jump. And that'll let me in this area. Okay. 
This puts me up by the cave entrance. Reload ship greatly increases reload speed. I, I'm gonna level with you, chief. I don't give a shit about reload speed. My gun is used to hit switches. Uh, dog, I love you. Please move. Northern clearing. Okay, so um. Do I rob the grave? Because I get the feeling I actually want to rob the grave. Oh. Oh. Here lies Dr. Zephyrina. The doctor. She got hurt during the human attack. I had just met Vana and the others, and they were very worried about her condition. No one was able to treat her wounds. Vana, what are we going to do now? First Alma and Rakul, and now Doctor too. Eventually it'll be, it'll be us, once our anima runs out. The other automatons, they're all too scared, hiding waiting for their anima to run out. We can't give up just yet, Olga. What can we do? The city's only getting more and more dangerous. There's an abandoned village deep down inside the gardens. Let's take everyone and go there. We, we'll figure out a plan. It's not over yet. Well, I can't rob her grave, which is probably for the best. Xylabone. That's the bug I killed. Uh, hmm. This is... Hey, Alma? Are you paying attention to the contact list on the pause menu? There you can see which automatons you've met and how much time they have left. It would be cool if we could help them. Uh, I'll see what I can do. And who knows? Maybe they can even help us back. For example, I've heard that Samuel from the chip shop was developed way to equip chips any time, not only near terminals. Neat, huh? But I don't know if he'll have enough time left to finish his research. Maybe if we give him some meteor dust, he'll be able to finish it. Why are you telling me about that when I walk into this room? Who is going to die? Okay, so I got a few people with only a couple hundred hours left. Teresa's only got 79. Samuel's going to be probably the next I work on. Okay, this is just an area that I'm not really ready for yet. However, there is meteor dust in here. I'm just going to let it go. I'll be back. So what be this? This be Unsighted, a game about lesbian robots slowly losing their mind and the fight to keep that from happening. Also, it's a game about treasure chests I can't quite make it to because this game is an ass. Alright. Get the fuck down! Oh. 
You know what? Give me... Combo chip. Fills combo bar faster. Okay, suddenly I don't care. Oh! Hydrate and stretch? Thank you. Ugh. I actually needed the stretch. My neck was getting stiff. Hmm. Okay. Now then. Oh, yeah. You... Aware of dog... Please pet dog. Okay. I guess I have to ride this up. Hit that. And then you have to be somewhere... Right about here, I think. Yes, but I missed. Now I can go down or up. switch for my troubles. This just leads me back here. My tattledy chip. Increases lo total life by four points, but the user can't use syringes. Um... Coupled with the vampire chip? Oh, Alma, look out! It's that thing again! I don't think it's safe for us to go this way. Let's try to find another path. It's very much not safe for us to go this way. That's a little bit... That's, that's not nearly enough bolts to make me fight that thing. If there was, like, meteor dust or something in there, I would totally, like, try. But there's nothing. Okay, so let's go up instead. Priest's log. The others have left. Some are going to spend their last days with their families. It's done now. We've done all we could to heed our oracle's words. It's funny that somehow we have created something that far surpassed us. A student guiding their masters. If only those with enough power took a stand while there was still time. I hope they rot in their damn tower. Huh. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Thank you. Hey, look! There's an elevator there! It probably leads to the eastern portion of the caves where the meteor shard is. The question is, how are we going to get through this barrier? Terminal activated. Nice. I'll just recharge real quick. A flower shaped hole in this device. Something written, too. The petals in the wind will guide you. Okay. 
Cats can't swim. Where are we going, Tree Beard? back in the town so where the hell actually wait a minute there's meteor dust up there somewhere well how the hell how the hell does one get up here either way the pedals through here. There must be a way to get to the other side. Why don't you check your map? Yeah, that seems simple enough. <laughs> Hi, Starson. Welcome. <laughs> 20 gauge shotgun. I approve. Alright, is this old woman still dying? She's only got 75 hours remaining. I should probably give her some more meteor dust. Hey, would you like another hit of star cocaine? Wake up! Yay! Please do not die, Grandma. I like you. 20 gauges would be a hell of a gangbang. A yo? Hey, Reiko, you have my Koikatsu model. Get on that. Alright, so we need to go around to here, and that means we're just going to uh, run very fast. Get fucked. Displacer beast looking motherfuckers. Where the flowers were. Okay, so we're going across the way. Can't push that. Oh, I see. Um, no, I don't see. I am confused. Some money. Found a new fidgety build a game and needle spent hour on a stream for three. Is that a corgi or a fox? That's a corgi. That is a corgi that I rec I rescued from a cage in the mines, and uh, you can pet him, which means this is the best game. And you should also feed him occasionally. Right. 
that does not work. I guess I can just make the jump. There's a puzzle here I like that too. Also gotta keep an eye open for these dig spots. He is. He is very poofy. Apparently you get other dogs later that are different breeds. But Korg is very good. Steady chip. Recover faster from getting hit or missing a parry. I could see that being useful. Alright, flower petals. Where the fuck are we going? yapping about? Oh, you're trying to sleep? I guess we'll just sleep for three hours. Let me make sure nobody fucking died. Okay, now she's got 94 hours remaining. That's combat. Let's ignore that. Let's go... Oh! There's the thing! Okay. Let's not ignore combat. I have to fight. I am going to die. Fuck off. You fuck off as well. Heal me, please. Okay, there's more bullshit here. Thank you. You just get rushed down. Boy, time switches with combat at the end. I love this. fucking serious are are you you're fucking me right now right you're
Wait a minute. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw my shuriken clipping. Yeah, hi. Hello, secret. Fuck off. You thought I missed that. Oh, oh, oh. That's why I missed it. Okay, goodbye. Never mind. I didn't want any anyways. collected the flower-shaped jewel. Yeah, we got the flower-shaped jewel! We should go back to the statue and place the jewel there. I bet this will open the way to the meteor shard. I bet it's a boss fight. Because this game is a bastard. Um... But yeah. Okay. Well, let's recharge. And then let's teleport up here. Alright. Side quest done. Let's get back to the Zelda-style dungeon that I enjoy so much. You've inserted the flower-shaped jewel. Oh no, it did break that. Okay. But there's obviously a path behind there, so we're going to do that eventually. Okay. Back down underground. Wow, okay. So that looks funny. Okay, so there's where Asana is. There's also some things over here to explore that I... Will likely do first, might be forced to do first. Hello, giant plant tentacles. Hello, I do zero damage to you. Okay, I have to do those first. Yeah, I need to figure out... Oh! Hmm... Suspicious! Dash dang. Oh, almost. Okay. So I want to go here and then there. Nice. Fuck you up. Then hit that. Pog. I've got a revive cog, but I can't fucking carry anymore. Yeah, disassemble it and collect bolts. The fuck else am I gonna do with them? Okay. Uh, I don't think I can go left. 
I mean, obviously I can, but I don't think I can get there from here. I'll grab that, though. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be Puzzle Central. Automaton Log 144. Dr. Zephyrina asked my team to deliver a meteor shard to Asana. Nock thinks Asana might learn something about the meteor faster than she can. However, I have this strange feeling that something is not right. Hmm. Okay, well, that's going to be a mark. And it looks like... Is this going to be combat? No. Okay, that's the way to the boss. And in order to do that, I got to bring fire there. I see how this is going. So we can just grab that on the way. Yep, I could have told you that. Shuriken chip allows the user to throw an extra shuriken. Okay. I don't really want to use this thing outside of solving puzzles, I'll be totally honest. Obviously a boss fight. We will not be going in there yet. Let's see where this leads. Underground lake. make this jump? I don't think I can. Not quite. Alright. Alright, yeah. We'll feed you. And we'll pet you. Can you pet the dog? Yes, you can pet the dog. Okay, so treasure out. That one I haven't got yet. Got that one. Got that one. Haven't been there. 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 Okay, so most of these I can't get just yet. All right, I guess we, uh, I guess we do go in here. All right, come on, Asana. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, I can remove this. I 
I hope you like bullets. Okay, I need the shuriken for this. You... You seek my power, don't you? I shall end your foolish quest now. What? Who are you? Was that... Hi, Asana! Okay, hands are gone. Parry that, apparently. Get wrecked. Oh shit, phase two. Fucker. Fight. Rough fight, but we got it. Used a couple cogs, that's okay. Iconoclast. Hey, that was a good game. The shard of the forgotten deity is now in your hands. Four meteor shards remaining. Oh, what? Anikure. Oh, hey, it's my girlfriend. You're late again. Sorry. Not as agile as you. Nonsense. You're built to be a better version of me. This shouldn't be a problem. I. 
Uh, yes, I am. Now grab your sword. I gotta get you combat ready before your first mission. Eesh, I've never seen Raquel so serious before. She's usually so soft. Something happened? Hey, yo! Yo, with the raid! How did your how did your game go? You were doing Final Fantasy 3, right? Yes, you were doing Final Fantasy 3. How did that go? Are you playing the original or are you playing the remake? Because I've only seriously played the remake. I, I've I've beaten the remake. Yo, Razzle Dazzle, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chat. Um, okay, so this is your first time here, so I'll let you know. My name is Gage Neumann. I am a transgender mechanic VTuber, variety streamer, and occasional lewd tuber. So feel free to follow my stuff. If you like what I do on Twitch, wonderful. We'd love to have you. Um, if you follow my Twitter, be advised, I retweet a lot of porn, much to Theo's chagrin. But here we stay mostly clean, within Twitch's terms of service, at least. So how did your stream go, Theo? Having a ball? Giving chat control to three of the four party members is interesting? Oh god! You're giving you're giving chat control of party members in a Final Fantasy game with a job system. Um... I hope you're ready to play with, uh... If you do this in Final Fantasy V, I hope you're ready to play with, um, four berserkers. Uh... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'll try to show up for the Final Fantasy V stream so you can at least have a Mystic Knight. <laughs> Alright. So right now we are playing Unsighted, a game about uh, the end of the world and lesbian robots. So if either of those things sound interesting to you, you might enjoy it. We just beat the first major story boss and got the first MacGuffin. I don't think so. Probably trying to look important in front of Alma so she won't be cast aside. Some automatons that live with humans feel like that. Like they constantly need to be of use. Or else. Bro, this is some heavy stuff you're saying. Sorry. Humans get the worst out of me sometimes. Except for Zeph. She's cool. You're welcome to hang around as long as you want, Theo. But you just finished up a stream, so go get yourself a snack. Yeah, unless she hears you calling her Zeph. <laughs> you both were trying to focus here. Now, Alma, your grip's a little twisted. Here, you need to align the blade with your grip. That way, when you got an important attack, incoming attack, you can parry it without hurting yourself. I see. You better learn how to do it by the end of the week won't be helping you on the battlefield. Now, come at me. Hell of a jump. I can't do that. Oh, hey! We busted up the statue. Yeah, we did it! We collected our first meteor shard. Once we collect the five of them, we should be able to craft the meteor blade. I'm feeling confident that maybe this time things will work out. I believe in you, Alma. I really do. We should probably head to the museum now. We can get there by crossing the suburbs. We should be able to get the meteor shard in there. Okay, so the museum entrance is up there past the suburbs. Hey, Alma. Vanna. I'm glad I was able to meet you. How are things going? I did it. I collected a meteor shard. What? That's amazing news. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. But I think I can do it. You're amazing as always, Alma. So actually, I wanted to tell you about a friend of ours that might help you. Who? Elisa. We're not exactly on good terms, but... I think she might be useful to you. She's an expert in automaton repair. And I think she can help you get more plasma syringes. Oh, that'll sure come in handy. Where's the location of our lab on your map? Okay, we're gonna go there first. Keep up the good work, Alma. I'll go back to the village for now. Be careful. You too, Vanna. See you around. 
Uh, we're going to keep exploring rather than going back to the village. Because up here, there's probably a terminal. Okay, this is the suburbs. There is no terminal here, but this is how we get across. Hey, Iris, are you okay? Yeah. Sorry for being so slow. The outside world still scares me sometimes. Hey, you're not being slow. And outside world? What do you mean? Well, I've been with Vana and the others for quite some time, but not long ago that we still lived in the old workshop. Me and my sister, I mean. Oh, I didn't know you had a sister. Yeah, her name was Crystal. She was always telling me how the world outside was such a scary place for us fairy bots, even before the unsighted. Iris, you saw what they did to Dad. Those good-for-nothing automatons. Dad, he didn't deserve that. We don't need their help. We can live on our own. We'll finish what he started. We'll build the other fairy bots. They'll be our family. Iris, you know where your sister is right now? I don't. Got separated during the war. Crystal, where are you? Oh, this is bad. I knew we should have stayed in the workshop. Hey, who are you? Automaton! I was very scared at first, but Vana showed me that the outside world isn't as scary as we thought. Iris. We'll find her. Even if she doesn't like me. At least she'll know you're safe. Thanks, Alma. I don't know how to return to the workshop, but maybe we'll find it in our travels. She's not mad at me. Ayo, flammable oil. Okay, so. A couple places we can go here. We definitely want to hit this place up as soon as possible. Um, also, there's something there that I haven't got, apparently. Um... But I just want to try to find the nearest, uh, what you call it, terminal. Uh, what do you do? You throw Molotovs, you asshole! I can't parry those. Okay. So the other cogs are all gone. I can, I can buy new ones. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, oh, fuck off. Please fuck off. You have a gun? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three. Four, five, six? Okay. Okay. Am I stupid? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. 
Yeah, you can't... I'm betting you can't parry a flaming bottle. Just... Just, you know... On principle, I'm betting it's not a thing that can happen. Alright, now there's... Fucking Metroids. Fucking durable Metroids. Okay. And that guy just committed suicide. Okay. It's... Oh, it's on the rooftops. Okay, gotta run and jump. It's not on the rooftops. Maybe it's just behind the scenery. Meteor dust! Okay, now, did I... I did not put a marker on that screen. Good, good, good. So... Let's go down, and hopefully there's a terminal. Frozen sewers area. There is no terminal here. There is, however... Meteor dust. Ah, fuck. Get fucked, shark bot. Give me the meteor dust. Probably can't do much in here, but... Blackout Corridor. Let's not and say we did. And we can't go anywhere else. Okay, so... Whatever, we got Meteor Dust. That was worth... Just fishing, my guy? Good dog. You did the thing. Have a treat. Okay, so we've got some kind of a puzzle. Got another kind of a puzzle. missing. Can't pick 
that up with that. There must be a switch or something somewhere that I'm not seeing. Maybe further up. that. Fuck. You gotta go, buddy. Trouble? Power chip. Increased damage in the user's life is full. Plus 20. That could be worth using if I ever had fucking full life. Alright. That's enough running around and getting ourselves killed. Let's go visit the, uh... Let's go visit the lady who's gonna give us more plasma syringes, I hope. Alright, so... She's there, which means this is the closest place to it. On this screen. You're not welcome here. Leave me alone. Uh huh. Yeah, about that. How did you manage to enter here? Uh... I don't remember you from the village. Uh, hi! My name's Iris, and this is Alma. Are you two with Vana? Are you here to attack me? Um, no? Why would we do that? Ugh. Vana banished me from the village, but I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's fine for us! We're trying to find the materials to craft the Meteor Blade, a weapon capable of entering the Crater Tower, and we're looking for help wherever we can. Well, for a quest this dangerous, you'll probably need more repair syringes. If you don't think my methods are unethical, I can help you with that. I can sell you disposable syringes, and if you bring me enough Meteor Dust, I can craft you a new permanent syringe. Oh, of course it takes Meteor Dust. Fuck you, lady. Ooh, that sounds helpful. What do you think, Alma? I hope you're not here to waste my time. Those will syringe blueprint. Hey, I'm not revealing my secrets this easily. I can sell you the blueprints for the disposable syringe for 1500 Not yet. I've got, actually, plenty. I might, I might just buy it. Alright, craft a new permanent syringe. Three lumps of meteor dust. Okay, no. I can just give her meteor dust. Let's ask about Vana. She didn't like that I was charging for the repair syringes, that I was asking for meteor dust. We had a fight, and I'm not welcome there in the village anymore. You know, kid, meteor dust can increase your anima. We're in such a dire situation that I don't have any other options. Okay. I mean, I suppose that's fair. Um, no, I don't want to give you any right now. I might craft another permanent syringe, but not yet. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that door is open. That's wonderful. So, I guess we're gonna go back here? I don't think we need this anymore. Actually, why the fuck do I have one there? Like, seriously. Oh! What is the benefit of a perma syringe? Um, I remember what that pin was, first of all. So, in the upper left there, you see my little healing syringe? That recharges uh, during combat. It's a full heal, and it recharges during combat. The permanent syringe gives me a second one of those, so it's like a second Estus Flask charge. Right now, I just have one. Um... Okay, that's the museum entrance, so that's where they recommend me go next. And get there by crossing the suburbs. So I'm on the right path, but I... I think I want to go back to the village real quick. And for, and for a specific reason, I want to go back to the village because I've got eight meteor dust. I could straight up just finish two quests right now. But I'm not really sure if that's a good idea, and I'll tell you why. Because... You can see everybody has a certain number of hours remaining, right? And the hours they have remaining, that's literally before they turn hostile. Like, even my little fairy companion. She could go nuts. Um, and you give them meteor dust to fix them. Except for Drillo, apparently. Well, the reason I don't want to just give it all out is because on my main stat screen here, you see in the bottom right... 241 hours remaining, I, too, can go nutso, and it's permanent game over. So, I'm going to save some of it for myself. However, I think I'm going to finish... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just finish yours, because you've got like 77 hours remaining. Have a meteor dust. Oh, sweetie pie, you're so nice. I hope old me can still be useful for you. Oh, and by the way, sweetie pie, I want you to have this little something. I'm sure it'll help you. Teresa, you don't have to. Oh, please, dear, I insist. Cog durability chip. Increases the durability of effect cogs. Okay. So that could be useful. I really just wanted to save her because she's a nice old lady and she had the fewest time remaining. So let's see. Reload chip, fast combo, steady shuriken, cog durability. Increases the durability of effect cogs. Power chip. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to use the vitality chip. Now that she's capped, can I help her any further? I'm not sure. I'll have to go talk to her and see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I need more. Uh, if I wanted the two, uh, if I wanted to get any more chips, I would need that. Okay. Some discounts. Offer meteor dust. Okay, I can still give her meteor dust to keep her alive. Um, but since your quest is finished, I'm, I'm sorry, lady. I like you. You're a nice old lady. I really can't see me offering you any more meteor dust. I'm sorry. Especially since this is all you sell and I can get these, I can get the blueprints for these. Um, speaking of which, let's do that. Hey. Alright. I would like to buy some blueprints. As a matter of fact... Just give me all three of these. Um... Let's see. 
Her selection expands as you get more shards. Okay, okay. Keeping her alive might be good. I don't know how much dust is available in the game. I don't know if I need to focus my efforts on whose quests I want to complete or what. But I'm pretty sure the next one I'm going to do is the weapon shop. But I bought some cog blueprints, so that way I can, you know, just craft cogs. But where's the weapon shop? That's the gym. That's chips. There it is, weapon shop. Because you sell a pretty neat thing. So, here's the question. Do I just, like... I've got seven dust. I could just power through this guy's entire quest right now and get the weapon. When you max out relation with someone, they give you a thing. Yeah, this guy's thing is that weapon in the glass case, which I think I want because it combines electricity, fire, and ice into the same weapon. So it's like a catch-all, you know, I don't need to switch weapons to activate this particular switch kind of thing, which is just convenient. Um, the other things that you can unlock in this town that I know of, there's a special ranged weapon. Don't know what it does, but I could unlock it. Uh, there is... What are words? There's uh, a portable crafting table so I can craft items anywhere. And there's also a portable terminal so I can change my chip setup anywhere. See, that's the thing. If I, if I don't budget it, then I won't be able to save everybody. And I don't even know if it's possible to save everybody. I don't think it is. So I guess I'm just going to let it go for now. He, you're right. He has a lot of time left. I can always come back. So let's actually... Let's go here. I got 240 hours left myself. Hey, nice, got some pet berries. places I can go from here. Let's go here first. Ow! Ow! These guys are crazy dangerous. Okay. Asshole. Faster heal chip greatly increases the syringe use and speed. Okay, that one might go on once I upgrade again. Uh, this should be a shortcut. Oh, this is like a crossroads. Okay. Did I already do this puzzle? No, there's like a shitload of things in this room. Okay. Charge chip. Okay. Get 
fucked. Dust. Sweet. All right, that's that one. Another one. Here somewhere? Good boy. It's up there. Shit. You. Into the drink with you. Invincibility chip. Increasing the invincibility time after getting hit. Neat. So, meteor dust is up there. I feel like uh, I can't get it yet. I feel like... I'm going to need some kind of ice power to, like, freeze the water. Fuck you, squirrel. And in facility. This place is rather spectacular. Also, there is lore over here. Please let me get that. Secret combat tips. Press X twice quickly while standing still to instantly replenish your stamina. It may leave you open to enemy attacks, so use it wisely. Okay. Neat. Okay, we will check that out. So if I were to... Neat! Oh, can't get through those. Not yet, anyways. I wonder if the grenade launcher will, will destroy those walls, because if so, I should probably just buy the damn thing. This way. East Tunnel. Ah, oh, fuckers. Fine, we'll take a nap. Let me your stats, actually. Huh, okay. His speed is actually very high. 
I guess we'll pet you. Good boy. You are a good dog. Even if you annoy me sometimes. Uh, oh, there's meteor dust here that I haven't gotten yet. Hello. Well, maybe I can get you now. This thing is not what I want to be doing. Okay. <laughs> Please fuck off. leads to death. Meteor dust. There's meteor dust. How the hell do I get to that? Maybe I just can't fucking get it right now. I thought you were around when I saw your door open. I want to keep that more locked. Yeah, I know there's some meteor dust up there. I would love to get it, but I don't know how. At least I got it marked. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you assholes. for me. I'm not gonna lie. I like having him around, but unless he does more than help in combat, the next time he asks me to take a nap, I'm probably gonna send him back to the village. I 
have any healing syringes. Okay, note to self, I have zero healing. Send him back and then go pick him up. Okay, next terminal, absolutely. His presence. Uh-oh, Iris has less than 100 hours remaining. It's Luna. He's guarding a meteor shard here in the museum. Let's find a way to open that door. Okay. Down to the village. Take Snickers back with you anytime at the pet house in the village. Nice. Okay. You, Iris, uh, you need to do some coke. No, nope, not that way, though. Where are you, Iris? Please do cocaine. Are you sure? I mean, don't you need it more than I? Thanks, Alma. I guess I'll stay around a little bit more. Yeah, we're not going to let you die if I can avoid it. Ah, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Thank you. Free meteor dust. Okay, we got a pushing block puzzle. Probably more of those weird moon... Yep, hello. Nice free sprocket. I see. Okay. Now on this side, I need to do something similar. Oh, this one's going to be a little more complicated. I can see that now. movie right there. Okay, front door open. Dealing with some holes from some files. It definitely looks like there's something back there, but I don't know if there actually is. Alright, so what's up here? Main hall, second floor. Syringe cog blueprint, ayo. Hey, an effect cog blueprint! Be sure to craft this one on a nearby crafting table. Having effect cogs around is always useful, especially to get through tough encounters. I may actually listen to you this time, Iris, because that one sounds pretty nice. Alright. Oh, and look at that. Here's a terminal. Here's a table. Warnex I've got, Tech Cog, Auto Blaster I've got, Defense, Stamina, Health Chip, Syringe Cog, that's wires. Hmm. I've got 28 of these, so I may as well. Okay, Syringe Cog, what does that do? Automatically fills your syringe. 
for five or five minutes. Oh, five minutes. It automatically fills my syringe. Huh. I'll have to see exactly what that means, but that sounds extremely useful. Now, did I get any new chips that could be interesting? I could throw the strength chip on. It's kind of nice. Um, steady chip might be nice. Cog durability chip could be broken with that. I just need to get two more... Okay, we're going to do Cog Durability. And then we're going to equip some Cogs. Give me... Oh, I don't have an Attack Cog. Oh, yeah, I do. It's up here. And I'll leave one slot empty. Okay, it's going to be eight... Five hits on the Defense Cog, 30 attacks... All right, and I can turn these on or off as I choose, so. And I'll leave one open in case something decides to, you know, drop. There's Meteor Dust in here. It's up here. Luna's Diary 19. It's still hard to wrap my head around all the events of the war. I was designed to safeguard humans, but when I finally had the power to act for myself, it was humans that I had to battle. Nonetheless, I'll safeguard the automatons around this region. They, they deserve to live as much as the humans who created us. Okay. So that just kind of confirms that I'm going to be getting the uh, thing that lets me break those walls in this area. Looks like there's lots of paths I can take. I could get up to the second floor already. Maybe I'll do that. equipment to deal with this obstacle. Yeah, that looks like it's electrified, actually. So, let's not. Heck, maybe I don't get this item in here. Maybe I get something else. So, we'll go left first, I suppose. Good a direction as any other. Push that as part of a puzzle. Now, can I get like a, a fucking night vision chip or something? This is annoying. Hello, you. Yeah, we're gonna defeat you the easy way. Hello? Oh, I went 
all the way down. Scare me like that! I almost smacked you with my rod! Chat? Don't say a fucking thing. Oh, don't worry, I'm not unsighted. Whew. Doing around here, it's dangerous. Hey, look at me! I can take care of myself! I'm not worried about you! I can take my care of myself, too. Mm, if you say so. Hey, by the way, the name's Cleo. Well, I'm using whatever's left of my time to try and clean the waters of Arcadia. Save those pure underwater critters. There's so much trash, you see. The humans really did a number on these waters. Well, I think he's officially a shark bot. And how are you doing this with a fishing rod? Well, mind you, this isn't a mere fishing rod. I've equipped this with a powerful magnet. It draws in a lot of the trash in the water. Oh. Hey, you seem like quite the fishing type. Why don't you help me out? Maybe you can even fish some useful trash from under these waters. Oh. Hmm. I can give it a try. Magnetic rod. Press Y in your suspicious spots in the water. Just approach any suspicious looking spots you see on the water's surface and press Y. When fishing... Wait for the exclamation symbol to appear and press Y as quickly as you can. You can even fish more than once in the same spot before it goes away. Oh. Fishing is so relaxing, you know. People will even say it feels like time stops for a while when the line is cast. Okay, I had a question about that. Thank you for answering it, game. Why don't you give that spot over there a try? Why don't I be a contrarian and try this one up here? Oh, that was a miss. Media lump of bolts. Okay, cool. Perfect. Reload cog. Removes the need to reload. Um, uh huh. Okay. Well, hey, cool. Fishing unlocked. This game has a fishing minigame. It is officially a good video game. Okay, how do I get up there? Or do I need to fall from above onto it? That would be kind of cruel, actually. Okay, that takes me directly up back to the first floor. That's a locked door. disappear when you turn on the lights okay cool so we got light based puzzles the path ahead will be revealed by the to those who venture into the dark abyss mm, no I don't like that oh okay but this is actually where I was fishing OP I will keep that in mind, Mecca. It seems like it. If you can just get money and time stops when you do it so you have no penalty.
Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I have to do this, actually. Drifter chip. Reloads users' guns with melee attacks. Bullet plus one. Huh. Okay, I appreciate the reference to hyperlight drifting. So, that's cool. I just called it hyperlight drifting, didn't I? And not hyperlight drifter. Either way, it's a good reference. I appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. okay. This room is gonna be some bullshit. Hey, look! From here we can see the room just below us. Attack cog! I can't carry any more cogs. Let's not dismantle it. Uh, let me go to my cogs. Fence, syringe, attack, and reload. I don't really use guns that much, so I'm actually going to destroy the reload cog and pick up the attack cog. Ah! I see. You are motherfucker! Suck my girl dick. Alright, so I can... I can hop down there, but hang on. Alright. Can't do anything up here. Uh, although, hello. Let me mark you so I remember to come back. Right fucking there. Correct order will be revealed to those who do not fear the night. Hey, look! Look at those platforms from before! But how... How turn off? How turn off the lights? Do I have to go all the fucking way back and turn off the... Be a little upsetty spaghetti. Okay, those guys are actually piss easy to take care of if you can fight them by themselves. fear the night. Okay, well, I don't... I fear that. I fear falling to my death, but I don't really fear the night. Ah, here we are. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think I can remember that. Watch me fuck it up. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Nice. Our reward is a key. All right, where are we gonna use that? Uh, there's a door up here I could use it on. There's also some stuff up here I can use it on, but I can't get here, I don't think. Oh. Ah. 
Yeah, let's just go this way. Oh, you're not a fucking Beemos, are you? Okay, apparently I can't actually hurt you. So you are literally a Beemos, but like a Link to the Past Beemos. And that has to be dark in here. Here we can see the room just below us. Yeah, thank you for the hint. I know I need to go there eventually. I don't want to go there now. Uh, actually, I take that back. I might actually have to. Unless... Get fucked. I'm not doing your silly little underground bullshit. you thought. I hear a dog! This is supremely important! Rusty old door, although it looks like it's about to crumble. None of your current weapons have any effect. Navi, thank you. Shut the fuck up. I can see it's a dog. This be one of the dogs Tobias was talking about. We should take this dog to him. Yeah, let's do it. He must be very worried. Dog seems to like you a lot, though. Why don't you give it a name? Okay. Chat, it's time. I think this one is a poodle. This poodle needs a name. This is very important. Somebody name this dog. This is the most important thing in the entire game. Saving the world, keeping the robots from going crazy, rescuing our Amazonian lesbian girlfriend. Yeah, no, we're naming the dogs. Okay, first name I see is Steve. I'm liking Steve, but let's give Koryu a chance to suggest something as well, since you already got Snickers. And Snickers is perfect. I'll take Steve under consideration. I almost feel like... I almost feel like it needs, like, a French name. Doodle, Snickers, Twix. Are we just going to name them all after candy bars? Because we could do that. We can totally do that. We can name them all after candy bars. Okay, so, so far we got... Francois? I like Francois. Actually, I like Francois a lot. Let me see if it fits. It's going to fit. It's going to fit... Perfectly. All right, Francois. Francois, the French poodle. Along with Snickers, the Welsh corgi. Let's fucking go. Seriously? This is what you named the poodle, Francois? I mean, it's good. I like it. Ha! Francois. Come, Francois. I think Francois is a good name. Yeah, that's cute. 
What are your stats, buddy? Low attack, good speed, maximum resilience. You do not look as cute as Snickers did, but you know what? I'll take it. Sweet, dog acquired. Dog is hungry. Pet dog. All right, back to actually doing things that matter. Um, go up here. Oh, okay, that puts us in this room. what I need to deal with the electrified rails. And I can't do this in the dark. Or I can't do this in the light, I mean. You just get rushed down. Your dust is down there. Okay, so I must... I must need to... Learn how to ride the rails first. Okay, so now... I need to make it light. here. Leather or rubber? Rubber would be better. I think it's going to be more along the lines of I get some kind of powered boots that let me do like a super grind. Yeah, meteor dust is there. I need to be able to grind to get to it, though. All right, so there's a key. And we'll just use that right in the same room. Okay. This is obviously a combat arena. Hello. All right. Okay, so here's the deal. fucking die. That's the deal. Oh, we got more? Okay. This is a little bit nuts. Uh, give me that and that as well. Oh, wow, uh, that just that just straight up keeps my syringe completely full. Okay. And that lasts for minutes?
That lasts for five minutes? No, five seconds. Okay. But that's still useful. That is, if I'm quick enough, that's pop in, heal, pop out, turn it off. So now I can turn the defense cog off. I still got two hits of invincibility. Now we can break some fucking walls. Spinner. Press A in the air to start riding the spinner. That's a reference to a really old shock site that I remember because my brain is completely poisoned by the internet. Anybody else remember Meat Spin? If you don't, don't fucking Google it. I've seen this thing before. It's the spinner. It's strong enough to break these rocks just by bumping into them. Hey, cat. Welcome. Meat Spin is responsible for the start of Miku's career. You are not wrong. Meat Spin predates Leak Spin. And you can ride on these electric tracks with it. Pog. Okay. Electric rails solved. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! So, wait, it's not, it's not wrong to say Meat Spin is responsible for VTubers. You are, you are correct, ma'am. It's never stated anywhere, but you can use the spinner to skip across water. Okay. I, I think this might be my favorite upgrade so far. So this is like the thing from Twilight Princess, except so much better because it doesn't stop immediately. You can use it whenever you want. I think it does take stamina very, very slowly. Okay, no, this is, this is useful. Luna's Diary 20. The human, Zephyrina, trusts me with a shard of the meteor. It was not hers to give, and yet I took it as a token of trust. Her fear of the tower has rubbed on me as well, as they cling to the last moments of their existence like vermin on a rotten body. The age of humankind is gone, but they are willing to take it all down with them. So we're outside, around the back of the museum. And there's... An, uh, uh, okay, an energy pillar. Uh, I... Oh, okay, so you actually do have to jump. Also, if you're having trouble, remember that you don't need to worry about falling over the edges when grinding. These blocks will make your spinner bounce and prevent you from falling off the track. Thank you. I guess I was supposed to activate that. Spinner is like 80% of the speed run. <laughs> I love it. You can craft it if you know the blueprint. Interesting. I knew the game let you craft things without having the blueprint. I knew that. I did not know it let you sequence break major upgrades. That is cool. That is very cool. Also, is anybody dying? BB42 is less than 100 hours remaining. I'll have to take care of him when I get back. Uh, Teresa is still low. Samuel's going to need some soon. I'm not going to be able to keep everybody alive this run. Um, yeah, 
I just gotta shut off the lights. All right. No, I didn't want to do that. Somebody get me off this crazy thing. There we go. That's the right button, finally. Meteor dust. Increases automaton's time by 24 hours. Game is now Beyblades. Yep, okay, so I think I have to go over here now, because now I can do that stuff. Might also be able to do some things in the basement, or even on the second floor. Oh wait, I'm on the second floor. Oh, you cycle through them, okay. So, I'm on the upper floor. I could go over here. There's a switch there I can use. Um... Yeah, actually, I think that's a good course of action. Oh, you know, I kind of like the music change when the lights go out. Like, that's... that's neat. Okay, so I have to jump across... Uh, but not to there. This way. I suppose I can go up and take a look up here. I can't do anything here yet, but I can grab this. Hey. One energy pillar, there's the other one. I gotta activate that on the other side. Just checking for pet berries. say that I have to do that. Oh, look at that. I was right. Oh, I saw that. I saw that secret. Puppy! Okay, Francois, I'm sorry. Your damage is fucking garbage. Hurry home, mezzanine. Okay, I can see the floor below. That means I'm gonna have to fall down there or use that to solve a puzzle or some shit. down here. Hmm. This path seems to lead to another area, but I don't think we'll be able to get through this obstacle. But don't worry. I don't think this path will lead us to the meteor shard. We should keep looking inside the museum. Path to the library. Okay, so this does lead somewhere else. It's just we can't get there from here. So it's more like path 
from the library, really. Yeah, I haven't been in this wing of the museum at all. So I could hop down there, but let's check out over here first. Ah, fuck off. Can't go that way with the lights on. East Museum Balcony. Is it really that easy? Okay, well, there's a switch here. Yeah, it is really that easy. There's an energy pillar here. Huh, okay. Maybe it's not that easy. We got the lights on. And now we can go over here and actually see what we're doing. Hey look, from here we can see the room just below us. This is the third time I've told you this. Combat arena? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Hey, look! Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is the same tutorial I've given you like six times. Chip increases the spinner's attack. Mm -hmm. Nah. See where this leads. Now, baby, little poodle. Yeah, you missed the corgi. I sent the corgi uh, energy supply room. Hey, hey yo. Yeah, I, I have already sent the Corgi back to town. I max leveled the Corgi. Uh, huh. Whatever the fuck this is looks complicated. Where's Boston Terriers? I don't know. There's like three other dogs I haven't rescued yet. There may in fact be a Boston Terrier. 
Okay, so we've got torches and spinners. Okay, well, that wasn't actually where I wanted to get to, but I guess. Now, this isn't really where I wanted to get to either, but again, I guess. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Revive Cog. Nice. Okay, that does work. Nice. Object press right trigger or left trigger to throw it. I can use that up there to get the energy tower open. There's also whatever is in the center there and the basement, but I might not even have to do those. Okay. It gives you a lot of wiggle room, but not that much. Meteor dust now. Aww. 
Wait, you couldn't find any Boston Terriers, or you couldn't find any pictures of the other dogs? This is important. I want to know which one it was. Pictures of the other dogs? Okay. More meteor dust in here? I mean, okay. Uh, Nani? Missing sector info. Oh, it's a map room! Nice. Okay. So that's in the basement. There's not much else here, just that forgotten chamber. Okay, wow, we've almost completed this place. All right, so let me see what I have here. In my cogs, I've got defense, attack, and revive. Let me create a syringe cog. Extreme, okay, you're an extreme sports person now. Little known fact, growing up, um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, one of my favorite video games. Yeah, fuck off. Tony Hawk actually, it, it was really good. The longer it went on, the worse it got to the point that, like, Project 8 came out, and Project 8 is basically awful. But, um... Tony Hawk's Underground, the first one, amazing. Highly recommended. You don't want to attack? I guess you're just going to die. Three meteor dust. All right. I can see Luna down there, but I can't get down there from here. But, hey, free meteor dust. So, I have to go... Okay, I've, already, I've got that. I could go back down to the basement. I can also get that. Because there's this forgotten chamber here. Maybe I'll check that out. I mean, like, I can't waste too much time because this whole game is on a time limit, but it's it's literally right here. I mean, all I gotta do is fucking yeet. All right, hi, welcome to basement. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. It's possible, it's just tricky. Nice. Okay, forgotten chamber. Here we come. Uh, this is a combat arena. There is a fight here. Thank you. 
Uh, turn off, turn off, turn on. That was super fucking sloppy, but we got it. And our reward is grenade spread. Uh, excuse me? Fires grenades in multiple directions can be used to destroy obstacles. Hmm. Me likey. That was worth the price of admission. Now I gotta skip across the water on the way back. The timing is quicker than you think. At least you don't get hurt. Come on. Pixel. Hi, Pixel. I love you. God damn it. The one time I make it across and Pixel farts and that's it. That's just, that's it. That's the end. you. I could go down here. I'm not gonna. How is the cutie? The cutie is doing good. The cutie is enjoying time with this game, even though it can be frustrating at times. Uh, I still don't know how to get that. Okay, that's a one-way passage from the other side. I think to get that, I have to fall from above. So, let's go up here. I'm missing. Path ahead will be revealed to those who venture into the dark abyss. Maybe I just have to go down here with the lights out? No? I just got a wall jump. Okay. Speed chip. Increases movement speed by 25%. Uh, ah, hey, yo, Guess what's going on and never coming off. Clipped? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. What did you clip? What did you clip? Skip, 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 skip. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, let me see this real quick. Hang on. Let's see what we got. Pixel.
Thank you for clipping Pixel. that. Thank you. That is just and... ugh, chef's kiss. Also, there was totally a fucking titty hot tub streamer there as well, but whatever. I'm not gonna judge. Uh, where the fuck was I going? Okay. So I need to go back up top. Which I guess means I just go back to the main room and go up. And I can go over here and do that. Alright. Knuckle crack? Okay. Bone hurting ASMR. You figured you needed it after all that trial and error. Actually, it did help, so thank you. Actually, I, I shouldn't complain too loudly. It wasn't. I know what these platforms do, Iris. I swear to God, I am not going to give you any more space cocaine if you keep giving me hints I already know. Okay, it's boss time. Or it's time to fall in a pit. It's dicks times, so we'll just remove the shorts. I mean, I guess it could be real dick hours. Luna's Diary 22. I fear that I might be losing myself. Losing the precious freedom Adama has brought upon us. Since the tower descended, I often feel my thoughts get clouded. I feel like I wander around the halls of the museum like a guard doing rounds. I shall protect the automatons until my last moment even if it means protecting them from myself. What are the chances of getting a fucking terminal? None. Hi, Luna. You know, we don't have to buy them. Have I gotten any space rocks yet? I got one. I can't select it, but I got the green one. It was from the, the four-headed, three-headed uh, goddess chick, whatever. Also, um, we saw someone that I'm pretty sure is Raquel. I'm pretty sure they're evil now. So our, our Amazonian lesbian robot girlfriend is evil.
Here she is. <clears throat> you again. You should stop this. Alma? Raquel? Give me back Raquel. probably parry that. Okay, you're gonna summon more fucking enemies. I can't. Oh, but you have multiple attacks. things. We got it. But you know what? That's why they say, hey, these cogs, you should totally use them all the fucking time. You don't need to wait. They're not, you know, hard to come by. So I guess it makes perfect sense. The Shard of the Ancient Guardian is now in your hands. Three Meteor Shards remaining. Now, I have no fucking idea what this is. Uh, th wait a minute. Multiple paths. Okay, we're not going to go there yet. Where was that alternate path?
This is the first. Or was there no alternate path? Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Alright, I'm crazy. All this garbage on the way. This is a mess. Oh, so it was you. The doctor told you to study again? Ah, uh, yes. Why does she have to torture me this way? Oh, come on, it ain't that terrible. The book that I'm reading. It made me wonder. A well, life around here was... for the meteor. Living alongside the humans. Even if we didn't have the consciousness we have now. Humans were fine until they started a desperate war against us. Where are they now? Didn't they just, like, ruin the natural environment which rendered the planet almost completely inhospitable to most kinds of life? You're, um, you're, you're wielding your metaphor less like a scalpel and much more like a sledgehammer there. I agree with it, but subtlety is a thing. And this is coming from me, and I don't do subtle. Well, yes, but some of them were kind, funny. They're gone from here now, but yes, there are some good things they left behind. Maybe you'll find some of it in that book. <laughs> I know writers who use subtext and they're cowards! <laughs> I fucking love you, Azari. Do you miss the humans who created you? I... Hmm. You know what? Why don't we spar for a little bit? Sadly, I did not make that up. Yeah, but you knew it. I didn't know that joke. I miss sweeping the floor with your face. That could probably be read as an innuendo if I tried hard enough. Are you saying that because I performed better than you in the last training? You know I was holding back. You got nothing on me. Sure, sure. It's not like I was made to be better than you or anything. You little... My gigantic girlfriend coming to crush me with her thighs. You did it again, Alma. We're really doing this. We're one step closer to crafting the Meteor Blade, which will allow us to enter the Crater Tower. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep going. The Aquarium is our next stop. It's a very dangerous place, but I think you'll do just fine. The next meteor shard is waiting for us. Okay, other side of the suburbs. Hello, my dear! I'm almost fucking dead! Hey! Be careful, this place is way too dangerous for you. Ah, don't worry, dear. I can take care of myself. So, I just wanted to tell you that I've got some lovely new cog types back at the village. See, this way, you'll have to give me more meteor dust, because you see that I only have 57 hours remaining, and you might want to use these new items. I don't know what the fuck voice this is. In retrospect, it's less an old lady and more of some kind of wacky court jester. But you know what? I have gone too far into this bit, so I am going to go ahead and keep doing it. Oh, new cogs, huh? If you want to buy them, just pay me a little visit to me at the village. See you around, dear. We're actually going to go ahead and return to Gear Village. Alright, so let me see. I've got 12 meteor dust. Let me check my contacts here. 
BB-42 needs some. Iris needs some. Teresa needs some. Samuel needs some. Holy fucking shit. Like, everybody needs some. Okay. So I'm gonna give you some. Oh, are you sh <clears throat> You do not have the old lady jester voice. <clears throat> oh, are you sure? I mean, don't you need it more than I? Well, thanks, Alma. I guess I'll stay around a little bit more. I'll give you some discounts. Anything, <laughs> sweetie pie? Attack, stamina, defense, reload, speed. Uh, let me know when you start carrying syringe or revive cogs, please. Although the attack cog might be nice. Um, I will keep you alive. Okay, and then... So, up here, there's one. But I don't think I can use the spinner to, like, jump up there. I can, however, use it... Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Three meteor dust. Um, let's see. Need to give some to you. Hey there, Alma. Do you want me to upgrade your weapons? I want you to not fucking die. Oh, is this for me? Thank you so much. Now I can keep Olga and the village. I can he keep helping Olga and the village for much longer. A whole fucking day longer. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and shove some more in their faces. Hey. Lower my price is just for you. How about you take some more magic cocaine, my boy? And how about you, old lady? Oh, how about I jump in the fucking river like the fucking nonce that I am? Hey. Start this. Nice. Okay, who else needs some? Uh, let's see... Uh, Samuel. Samuel needs some. Uh, it's dogs. Here we go. Samuel. Uh, how about you take some cocaine, my dude? And now, what do you have for sale? Health, stamina, strength, and greed. Increases bolts acquired by 100%, but the user loses everything when defeated. You know what? Fuck it. Because I also have a wallet chip that makes it so I don't lose everything when defeated. Alright, so let me see here. Sword, vampire, I want all those. Hog durability I can probably get rid of. And I can probably also get rid of this stamina chip. And then if I buy a new chip slot, then I can go, hey, guess what? Fucking wallet and fucking uh, greed. So now I'm just going to earn shitloads of money. Okay. So... We're two-fifths of the way through the game. Assuming there's only five dungeons. I'm probably wrong there. I'm really liking it so far. The only thing I don't like is the time limit they put on everything. I know why they do it. It makes perfect narrative sense. It adds another layer of challenge by making you actually have to be good at the game and go quickly. I don't like feeling pressured. I would rather like to be able to explore this world at my own pace. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Yeah, I know you can turn the time limits off, but I'm not sure if I should because it... 
Okay. So I'm not the type of girl who's going to be like, oh, you know, if you don't play the game on hard mode, you're not getting the real experience. But it's part of the experience. It's part of the developer intended experience. So I don't know whether I should or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm done with this for the night. I'm going to find someone to raid and we're going to go, you know, say hi to them. As a matter of fact, I'll just hop over to the chatting screen and I'll quit out of this so I can load up Chrome and find someone to raid. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a poll on my Twitter and I'll let that run probably until Friday. And you guys can weigh in um, whether or not you want me to leave the time limits on or turn the time limits off. Um, my vote is going to be for turning them off just because I think the game would be more fun being able to go at my own pace and not feeling rushed all the time. It's no, 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 no. Azari, I'm, I am having a blast with this game. I'm having a fucking blast with this game. I love it. It plays like a dream. There are some things that I think are maybe a little bit tricky, but that's like skipping across the water or like optional combat rooms. It plays really well. I like the story. I like the characters. And like I said, I totally understand why the time limit is there and it's an interesting challenge. I just don't know if I like it. So you got nothing to apologize for, my guy. It's just a matter of do I turn it off or do I leave it on? So I'll put a poll up on Twitter. You guys can weigh in on that and we'll make that decision by next week. As long as it's better than Dead Rising one, then it's fine. You know, I've never seriously played Dead Rising. I know there's a time limit on it, um, but I've never seriously played it. However, I also know that you're only trying to keep one person alive in Dead Rising or, or was that Dead Rising 2? The one where you had a little girl that needed to take Zombrex like every day. I think that was two. Um, but yeah, I think she was the only person you had to keep alive with the time limit. Everybody else was just, don't let them die to the zombies. Okay, so let's see who is live and who we want to raid. A lot of these people I haven't raided or seen in a long time. Uh, let's see. Lance Nonacola. I haven't raided him in ages. He's doing Dead by Daylight. Raku is doing Maple Story. And everybody else has so many viewers, I'm honestly probably not likely to raid them. Just because if they already have, you know, 30 viewers, they don't they don't need help from me. I would rather raid somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of viewers. So I think I might actually raid Lance. I haven't I haven't raided Lance or seen Lance in in ages. So it might be fun, actually. Oh, oh, three was the stunt man and his daughter? Okay. Alright. So yeah, Lance is doing some Dead by Daylight. Um, I think we'll send you guys over to him. Uh, as for me, I don't have any other Twitch streams planned this week because I'm working some additional hours coming up to the holidays. Um, I will be doing an off-brand stream on Wednesday. You can check my uh, you can check my Twitter for details on that. Um, after that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure next week, but like I said, keep an eye on my Twitter and uh, I will have a schedule out by next Sunday. So I'm gonna send you over to Lance. Everybody have a good night.